What up guys, Astro Manning here and we're back with another video. This time we drive in the most beautiful Vanguard Sentinel. Look at that thing, this thing. I've been driving the 890 a lot, but and this is still my favorite ship. It's been neglected a lot, but this is the Vanguard Sentinel. My favorite combat ship in the game. It's It's just perfect. Look at the blue and yellow stock Vanguard Sentinel paint. It's the most beautiful colors. It's a perfectly amazing ship. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Welcome back. Astro Manny here making another video. And today we are doing a dedicated comms array video. I'm going to dedicate this video to showing people how to bring down comms and bring up comms. We're not going to do any SP, SPK um crime stat removal or anything like that we're just gonna show comms and so it's gonna be a dedicated comm stat tutorial now since we're doing this we might as well make a little bit of money out of it okay so obviously you can go to any planet or any moon and go to their comms and take down the comms you don't need a mission to do it and you could do it any way you any way you like uh, most of the time you take the comms around selling down so you can you know clear your crime stat or if you're trying to do some criminal activity you just go and take down the comms in that current location today since we're just gonna do tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and go into the personal tab here okay we don't do a whole lot in the personal tab but don't worry there are more things to come where I'm gonna show off personal tab missions and talk about those in the future but here, since I'm doing a t tutorial on com com arrays, I might as well make some money while doing it. I can make 25k for doing this personal mission. Now I'm in Microtech to take down this com array around Clio. Someone wants a com array down around Clio, so we're going to go ahead and accept this and make 25k while I show this tutorial off. So cover needed, com array ST459 on Clio is where we're going to go to take down this com array. So. We're going to start heading that way. There is an, a, an option, I didn't know that, I've never done one of these missions by the way, to go collect a crypto key in that location. You see that? Over there, 106 kilometers, 106,000 kilometers away, you can go and land and go collect a crypto key. But uh, we already have those. I always have crypto keys. Actually, let me show that off real quick. So. You do need a tiger claw, a crypto key to take down the comms right here. They are, so I just need one of these to uh, be with you to um, to do this. I'm actually going to take one of my med pens away and attach it to my hip. So now my card is there on my hip, so I can act access it by holding down the C button. We'll talk about that in the future. But anyways, we're going to make our way over to Clio to see what this comms are in. While we are traveling and setting the route, I do want to ask you guys again to leave a comment down below if you are enjoying some of the tutorials I'm doing, or if uh, you enjoy the playthroughs I do. I do a little bit of both, and I um, have a good time doing both of them. So leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate any kind of support, any kind of sharing of videos. All is helpful for small youtuber like me I do appreciate all the help you guys give me um, also hit that bell to get alerts when I post a video but you guys know there's a new video every single day at 10 a.m. so you're set there guys here we are off to Clio <clears throat> I had to set the um, route for the comms array so that we're gonna get to Clio turn around and go straight to the comms array Again, you can go get that crypto key over there on that moon, um, but we don't need it because we already have it. And this is a tutorial on how to just shut down comms array, it's not necessarily do this mission. So, I'm doing this at Vanguard Sentinel. You can do this in any ship uh, that you feel comfortable with. Small, medium, big, maybe not too big, because if it gets too big, you might not be able to do the strat that we're about to show off. Okay? So there's the comm array over there, right? So the goal is on this to land, or not land, but to float in between 
the solar panels of the comma ray. Okay, so when, as we get close, you'll see that there are solar panels in the comma ray, or, or stretched out in the comma ray. You want to get in between the solar panel and the base of the comma ray, in between one of the solar panels and the base. The reason for this is the missiles won't shoot at you when you're this close, and two, there are turrets inside of the satellite dishes or the saddle, why do I keep saying satellite dishes? The solar panels, there are turrets inside the solar panels. So if you are in between the solar panels and the base of the comma ray, the turrets cannot shoot you. So we're just gonna go right into it. Uh, full, full settings to the shield, just in case we do get hit. Drop a couple flares at a time, just in case we do get locked. But you wanna go in fast, not too fast to where you crash. Remember, never drive straight into something, always go off to the side we're gonna go in real quick as fast as possible come in quickly come in quickly make sure that we come in to be able to stop enough we're coming in real hot here we're gonna hit the boosters here to slow us down a bit and voila here we are nice and easy we're gonna get right here in between the Solar panels, as I said, voila. We'll even throw this in third person so you can see. We are in between the solar panels. They See, they are shooting at us, but guess what? They cannot hit us. Okay, where we are, they cannot hit us. So we are safe. Here's a nice little screenshot. That's beautiful. Kind of want to get more zoomed out. And I'm even going to go out like this. A little bit of page down and then rotate like this this that's a beautiful screenshot right there guys fantastic anyway so this is where you want to be I'm gonna reset the camera for third person there you go I'm going to drop open my back this is how you want to do it you get parked inside of the solar panels and the base of the comma rays then you just get out of your ship Take a nice EVA trip, just walk right off. Bloop. Just walk right off. No issues on that. And now to find the opening, you have to go to the base of the comma ray. And they're always like above. You see the, the arms? They're always above. And you're looking for pipes. Pipes and bright lights. So you just go around the base until you find the bright lights. And that will be the entrance. See? There they are right there. There's the pipes and the bright lights, the red lights pretty easy opening visuals pretty good you just come in here you enter in through here watch your head out <laughs> we'll even do a little bit of third person how about that okay so then once you're in here you just go to the bottom just go to the bottom here and look for the computer oh look there it is right there so you you circle around the bottom here to look for the computer until you find it we found it right away. Um, it's not too big of a deal. You come up here and it says current status of network is offline. So we have to reconnect the uplink. This is not always the case. Sometimes it's already online and you don't have to do this reconnecting status. Uh, so yeah, if that happens, you have a little extra bit of time that you have to spend here doing this. No big deal. Um, while you're in here, you are trespassing and you are doing a criminal activity at the moment. Uh, you will not get a crime set for doing what I'm doing, but this is a criminal activity. So it is good to keep your head on the swivel to make sure that no one is coming in here to shoot you in the back. Um, because there is another mission to turn the comma rays back on. And actually we're going to do that mission in this video just for extra money to show it off. Okay, we also try to remember where we came in from. I think we came in from right up there, like right, right up there, right? Maybe, possibly. So that looks like it's the entrance, you know, to where we came in. So you gotta be looking in that direction. And well, I mean, I guess like I said, keeping your head on a swivel all together, but uh, yeah, ow. <laughs> EVAing in third person is, uh, Interesting. Look at this. Look at this. Wee. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyways, um, this process is taking a little bit. So I, we're going to have to stick our tiger claw into there. It's, it's still reconnecting to the panel itself. Uh, also, you can see that the comma rays are up currently, so that's what we're doing. We're trying to take this satellite away. And when this is gone, that means any criminal activity that is done in the vicinity, in the area of the moon or the planet that the comma ray is on, will not be recorded. So therefore, you can do crimes and not get in trouble. If you see this marker up at the top right, that means if you do a crime, you will get in trouble. If it's not there, then you can do whatever you want. Not that I recommend doing criminal activities, just saying how it works. Anyways, um, so again, uh, just chilling, waiting for this thing to become active, paying attention to make sure that we don't get caught off guard by a random person. Um, if you have a second person, you could have them sitting out in your ship and they could be guarding you and they'll be able to see if other ships uh, come in and we'll, you'll get a little heads up then if you have somebody out there helping you. Uh, this mission's a little bit boring uh, for content wise I think because you know, you're doing a lot of standing around. But it is necessary to do this to clear your crime stat. Not necessary, I guess, but recommended to do this to clear your crime stat. And obviously, if you don't want to get a crime stat, and I will show off in future content of me taking down the comms before I do a bad mission, before I do a criminal mission, and therefore when I do the criminal mission, I will not get in trouble when I do it. So, that is a reason for this. So, again, keeping my head on the swivel, waiting for this bar to load up. I th I'm pretty sure that's where we entered over there. There's our Vanguard Sentinel over there, straight ahead. Such a beautiful ship. So, guys, how's everyone doing today? Uh, are you guys enjoying the tutorial? Uh, updates I do like to show a lot of gameplay but I do here and there like to keep tutorials updated I know there are a lot of tutorials in this game but some of them are outdated so or maybe not that well explained I like to show everything so that if you were trying to do this yourself you can just absolutely throw my video on and just follow my steps you don't even have to listen to the video because you can visually see what I'm doing. And therefore, it's all clean and picture perfect. So here we are. It's reconnecting. It is almost done. We can go ahead and put our gunner away for now because we're going to have to put something else in our hand. There we go. Pass key authorization. Authorizing pass key. It's going to say no authorization available so we're gonna hold the C button here to access our quick menu for our pockets <clears throat> as you see we have the med pens we want to pull out the tiger claw now the tiger claw is in our hand um, can't really see it there but can't even see it there in third person very well can we there we go see see it's there in our hand beautiful you're gonna insert it into the spot the slot crypto key initiated boom bang and now you got this next little bar that has to rise up now this bar is going to go up and occasionally it's going to stop process and you're going to have to click on the screen and hit continue so you do have to stick around a little bit longer and hang out in space EVAing a little bit longer but it's a little bit fun right again we'll do spinny as well in first person we fun maybe possibly Pull back out the gun because we don't have the crypto key on us anymore and we can go back to moving our head on a swivel bum, 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 bum. see so that first bar is about to fill up so we're going to watch and see if it needs to say continue it did not it's not always going to ask for a, a uh, 
it's not going to always pop up a prompt to press a button after every single bar. So do be aware of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and check our missions to see if the mission to bring this column array is popped up in the general tab. I think I believe it's in the general tab that it pops up. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure where it pops up. I think it's a mercenary to be honest, <clears throat> but I don't think it'll pop up until it goes down. Just clicking everything so that when something new pops up, I can clearly see. Oh, we're still not having a prompt to hit continue. I'm just waiting to get shot. It, it barely ever happens. When you're doing comms array, getting shot by a player is <clears throat> very unlikely. But uh, I'm just waiting for it to happen so I can show it off. It'd be really cool. During Jump Town, during Jump Town, doing comms was a big thing because some people wanted to have the comms up so people would get crime stats, and most people didn't want to get the crime stat. There it is. Hit the continue button. Continue on our conversation. <clears throat> so there was one point on Jump Town, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> where I was doing the comms, and I actually had somebody in my ship watching out and uh, protecting me, but I think the guy was already here. Like he, he was here without a ship. So I actually got shot in the back while I was doing comms during Jump Town. And then he proceeded to fool my teammate <laughs> and stole my own ship and got away. <laughs> it was quite something. It was it was definitely definitely an interesting event. We eventually chased the guy down and murdered him, but uh, <laughs> it was definitely fun. So as you see again, there's another prompt to hit continue. You hit that button, and now we're on the final bar, and then we'll be done, and we will have some cash money in our hands. Easy peasy, nothing to it. And you see how this can take some time, a little bit, so making a full dedicated video to just doing comms array is well worth it. Um, I will do a dedicated video to clearing a crime stat, which involves taking down a comms array, and that will be together in one, um, but uh, I do want to. I did want to do just a dedicated comms array tutorial. So here we go. We're about to finish this up. And system access granted. Hit the continue button. Checking comms array status. Okay. We want to disconnect uplink. Disconnecting the uplink will just disrupt communication and service in the area. We hit proceed. Boom. Comms are now down. Beautiful. So we have completed the mission. Well, not completed the mission. We have to keep the comms array down for five minutes in order to complete the mission. So it's actually safer to go sit in our ship while you're doing this. See? I told you this was where the entrance was. So that if somebody comes by in a ship, we will notice them coming prior to them getting here. Because if we sit there and just hang out in the comms array, then there's a possibility that they can sneak up on us if we don't get the drop on them. So if we're in our ship, we can see them coming from far away. And that is what we're going to do. We're also going to search for the mission itself to turn the comms array back on. But we're going to wait the five minutes to collect our money. So here we go. Watch your head. Back on the Vanguard. I'm gonna keep the door open and everything. But like I said, we'll uh, check the missions and not there. Oh, here it is. ECN alert. Network intrusion. So another fifteen thousand for turning the comms back on. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. It has not been accepted yet, but we're going to go ahead and grab that, and so that will be another 15000 that we will get for turning the comms back on afterwards. Hasn't popped up server lag a little bit, I guess. Okay, 
So again, we're going to enter the pilot seat. So this way we can see any ships coming in. There goes the mission that we accepted. Uh, and we're just going to chill here and hang out. In, in first person view. Do not hang out in third person view because you will not see ships come in if you are in third person view. So sit in first person. All right, so we're gonna check out the new mission that we just accepted and look in the ECN alert network intrusion. Prevent hackers from access accessing the system in Consort ST113. Um, is that the one that we're on? I'm assuming it's the one that we're on. We'll check it out afterwards. But I'm assuming it's the one that it's on because it pops up after we turn the console right down, right? So, yes, anyways. So we got only two minutes left on our mission and then we got money in the bank. But pretty much that's it, guys. Um, we're going to stay and continue doing this, but I do want to touch. That's it. The comms array is down. So if you were taking down the comms to go to SPK and clear your crime stat, this is it. You're done. Boom. You did it. And you're safe to fly away. Uh, I do recommend that if you are here taking down the comms array when you're leaving, you can go ahead and pop up your quantum. And... Uh, from right here where you're sitting in a safe position line up a quantum and just warp out don't fly away don't have the chance don't give the turrets a chance to shoot you don't give the missiles a chance to shoot you down just set up your quantum and get away boom you're done you don't have to even worry about flying away from the comms array because you could quantum away so that is a recommendation there um but yeah that's that's how you take down the comms array you fly in fast not too fast to where you kill yourself but fly in fast get to a safe location here in between the solar panels because the turrets are over there somewhere in between you see how there's a gap in between those solar panels the turrets are over there somewhere okay um, so they can't shoot you if you're right here and you're pretty safe We've got one minute until we make our cash money and uh, look at we're above Cleo I didn't get to mention how beautiful Cleo is like Cleo's my favorite moon. It's my home moon. Look at this thing. I want to get a better shot of it, but... That is gorgeous. Again, do as I say, not as I do. Remember I said, we <laughs> don't sit in third person. You will be able to see the ships come easier if you were not in third person. And I continue to sit in third person, but I'm trying to get a nice view of it. It's not going to happen with us sitting right here. All right, five seconds until we make our money. Ta-da! Stays offline for five minutes. Objective complete. Disabled comma ray uplink. Now let's check it. Contract complete. Cover needed. Boom. 25K, right? Bam, easy. That's a nice 25k. Took a little bit of time, but it's a different loop. So now we go back into our contracts and we hit accept and we hit track and voila. And that's a prevent the hack. That's a prevent hack. Okay. So that's not the one that we're at. Where's the mission for turning back on comms? Right? I know there is one. Not sure. I thought there is one. Maybe I'm wrong. It's okay. It says prevent the hack, the one that we picked up. Uh, where is the prevent the hack? Oh, it's all the way over here. It's on Hurston. We're not doing that. I, I assume so, because it was. we're at ST459, and that was not an ST450. Oh, maintenance. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. It's maintenance, not the ECN alert. I apologize. We failed the prevent the hack for the ECT alert, but, oh, it's saying to terminate the unauthorized access. That's interesting. Okay, so it's basically to stop the mission that someone else was doing. But this is the maintenance one, right? This is to turn back on Clio's uplink. So we're actually accepting the maintenance one. 
and that's what we're doing. Boom, maintenance, track. Sorry for the little bit of uh, misinformation there. I've never done this before, but uh, I turn off comms arrays all the time. Not necessarily do I do the missions for them. I just turn them off. <laughs> anyway, so we would go back in and restore the uplink, and that's another 10k in the bank. Easy, right? So we know where we entered in. It's over here. You got to find the bright lights, the, the pipes. It's that easy. We're gonna fail that Hurston mission that we accepted. No big deal. It, it, <laughs> that's basically the opposite of what we were doing. It's to stop the guy from doing it. And that's interesting. I didn't know that. But here we go. We go to the computer, and we're here to restore the uplink. And this is the reconnect. Boom. And here's the bar originally to turn it back on. And you got to sit here and wait again to clear that up. We're coming close to the end of the video here, guys. Um, let's see. Is there anything else to touch up, up on this? No. I don't think so. But yeah, so to do this mission, this is the maintenance mission to restore the uplink. I believe if you accept these missions to do the maintenance, when you roll up on the satellite or on the comms array, they will not fire upon you. You are friendly if you have this mission activated. Uh, a couple of other side notes. As you see on the top right of our screen, the comms link has disappeared, meaning that there are no comms around Clio. And we are trying to get that back now. Now it's less important on the maintenance missions to keep your head on a swivel to see if there's other players. I guess you still should because there are no comms arrays, so if someone sees you, they could just shoot you with no consequence. But you're here to do a good deed, not a bad deed, so hopefully you don't get shot. Maybe the bad guy's still hanging around and is going to shoot you. That could be a possibility too. Who knows? <clears throat> but we have to wait for this bar. This one does not have any things to hit continue on. Um, so there's no real necessary to watch the computer. But yeah, so basically we've shown you how to turn off the comms ray. Now I'm showing you how to turn them back on. Um, like I said, the most uses for this are for doing criminal missions and not getting a crime stat, going to clear your crime stat at Selen on SPK, or at SPK on Selen. Uh, therefore, if you take down the comms array, you won't get more crime stat for killing the guards while you're on the station. Therefore, it's easier to clear the crime stat, uh, things like that. Now I just sound like a broken record, but you know, Got to try to keep some commentary up while we sit here and wait for this this link to go by. Um, as it's getting closer, I will once again say thank you to everyone who is watching and following. I'm having a blast making all these videos. There is a Discord down below if you want to join the Discord and hang out with us. We are always looking for new members for the organization and uh, would love to have you, so check out the Discord. You can always look at my Instagram and follow me on there to see things about my real life. You know, I, I post things about my YouTube, but I also post my real life, like my cat and uh, other activities that we do, fun stuff like that. Uh, sorry for all the plugs, but you know, gotta gotta make some commentary. Uh, I do stream, and so there is that. We're gonna go ahead and try to accept this. Service beacon is no longer available. Sadly, there's no service beacon available for that. We're going to do some rescue missions after this, I think. That's what I think I'm going to do for the rest of the day is just sit around and do some rescue beacons. But yeah, links down below in the description. Referral code for Star Citizens down in the description. I've never mentioned that one before. I'm not really uh, asking for people to uh, to use my referral code but if you are new to the game and you are looking for a referral code yeah sure it's down there in the description I, I don't mind 
let me know if you do because I'd really like to hang out and play with you and uh, I could show you some of the new things to do in the game or, or, or for new players to start off. Um, I will eventually be making a whole series on starting a brand new account. That will be cool to see in the future. So stay tuned for things like that. There's all kinds of content coming. I make a video every single day. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. All those things. Thank you guys so much. I won't mention it again at the end of the video. This is just because we're sitting here and waiting for this bar to go all the way up. Go up faster! Come on! <laughs> 30 minute video for comma rays on and off. But hey, this is a thorough explanation on how to do it. Thorough! This is what I like to see is thorough. Some people like quick, but I like thorough. And I hope you guys like thorough too. So it, we are done here. The comms are back up. Do you see that? Boom, we did it. Comms are back up. We made the money. Now we have to leave the restricted area. We have five minutes to do it safely. Five minutes of not getting shot. You see the comms are restored and we will not get shot for five minutes. And then we will be paid. So all together that's 35,000 for coming and turning the comms off and turning them back on. That's not bad. If you're a new player, you know, that 35,000 is quite a lot. And it's a different gameplay loop, you know. Obviously it makes no sense to come here, turn off the comms array, and then turn it back on. That's kind of silly. Uh, other than if you're trying to show this video off, but at least one way or the other, if you see the maintenance option, you can make 10k. If you see the option to turn off the comma array, you could go turn it off and leave it off and do some crazy things. <laughs> so to finish this off, I will show you what I would do if I was just turning the comms array off, right? So right now we're safe and we won't get fired upon. but. If we were still to be fired upon, like I was saying before, I would turn on the quantum. I would try to move as little as possible so I'm still safe. I would turn on the quantum and I would search for my quantum jump point, like right there. Any, any quantum jump point will work. But any quantum jump point, we're just going to get away and this way you won't get shot. You can't get shot or missile locked or shot by missiles if you just, vroom, I'm out, goodbye, I'm safe. Right? Objective complete, job done, and we're going to another freaking comma ray. We're not going to do anything with it, but here we are at another comma ray, and we're out of the business. Okay? There's another 10K in the bank, job done, and that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Uh, that was fun. It was a nice little tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped. And uh, yeah, this is Astro Manny signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day. And adios.